At number five tonight, Sterling Heights Police Department is educating convenience store employees about the dangers and consequences of selling alcohol and tobacco to minors. 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell tagged along with Sterling Heights PD as they went to several stores. And Alan, police say it's important for store employees to do their own police work when a minor attempts to purchase alcohol or tobacco. That's exactly right, Dave. Police say that employees should be doing their own police work before refusing to give a minor any alcohol or tobacco. In fact, officers tonight went out and handed out these booklets to several different employees at gas stations and convenience stores. Inside, there's a whole bunch of different information about what employees should be looking for, whether that be fake IDs or the age, the legal age to sell tobacco, and what store employees should do if a minor comes in looking to buy alcohol or cigarettes. You see it a lot more in like schools and stuff. It's popping up everywhere. Officers with Sterling Heights PD aren't mincing words when telling convenience store owners about the consequences of selling alcohol or tobacco to underage children. It's the education part. Um, we really want to get that word out there and let them know, but then at, at the tail end of things, if we have to come out and enforce, yeah, we will. With prom season quickly approaching, teenagers can be tempted to purchase alcohol or tobacco products. Everybody does it, so that's where they learn from. They learn from older kids, and they just think it's the right thing to do when it's prom night. CARE OF SOUTHEAST MICHIGAN SAYS THIS IS A GREAT OPPORTUNITY FOR TEENS TO MAKE A POSITIVE IMPACT IN THE COMMUNITY. I THINK IT MAKES AN IMPACT ON THE VENDORS AS WELL THAT THEY SEE THAT THERE ARE TEENS IN THE COMMUNITY THAT REALLY CARE ABOUT um, THEIR COMMUNITY AND THEIR PEERS. STERLING HEIGHTS PD ALSO REITERATING THE SEVERE PENALTIES OF SELLING ALCOHOL OR TOBACCO TO UNDERAGE INDIVIDUALS. LATER ON DOWN THE ROAD, IF WE HAVE TO COME BACK AND ENFORCE, WE WILL, BUT THEY'RE EDUCATED AND HOPEFULLY ARE DOING SOME PROACTIVE POLICE WORK uh, BEFOREHAND. THE STORES HAVE BEEN WARNED AND EDUCATED. WHAT HAPPENS IN THE FUTURE IS NOW UP TO THE STORE OWNERS AND IF THEY SELL TO MINERS. THEY DON'T REALLY HAVE THIS KIND OF EXPERIENCE WITH OTHER PEOPLE, SO THEY NEED TO KNOW THAT like THIS IS WHAT'S GOING ON IN THE SOCIETY RIGHT NOW. And Sterling Heights PD, those teenagers and care of Southeast Michigan will be going out two more times within the month of Michigan. Again, handing out these booklets to employees at gas stations and convenience stores, just reminding them the importance of not serving minors, especially with prom season approaching. Reporting live tonight in Sterling Heights, I'm Alan Campbell, Action News. Thank you, Alan.